Hi folks, I'm Fred Sobreth, co-host of Keeping It Real. I'm here with John Fabray, is it? Favret. 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 <laughs> so how many years have you actually done the uh, Courtyard Fest here? Okay, uh, I started in 1999, and the following year, in 2000, was the first year we did it. So this is our 16th time out in the courtyard. Wow, folks, 16 years. I remember one year where they had Black 47, who was an actual band that came here and played for an entire afternoon. Irish music out of New York. What yeah, right? Great way to do it. <laughs> now we have heavy metal today. <laughs> so what are what is the benefit for you to go and do this every year? What do you get out of it? A lot of work. What I get out of it is to see the artists, to see the performers from the college, to see the students come out and enjoy themselves at the end of the semester in a beautiful day, great environment, good sounds, good food, and really just to celebrate the arts and have a good time on the college campus. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. Come back again next year. We'll keep doing it. Yeah. How are you? Good. Hi, folks. I'm here with Fr I'm Fred Solbert, and I'm Dave Ryan, and we're here at the uh, HCC Courtyard Fest 2015, and we're here with Professor George Sheehan. Jeff Sheehan. Jeff Sheehan. Sorry. Right, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, how many years have you done this? Uh, this is 16 years now we've been doing some sort of spring courtyard festival. The last couple of years we've focused more on doing student-based art projects, like the music and the theater that's going on in the middle, the sidewalk art competitions that's happening. We decided to focus more on what our students are capable of doing and showcase their talents and skills and the quality of work that they do. So. And how were they judge the sidewalk contest? Like, well, the art uh, teachers have a certain criteria that it need to be met. There was a certain size that went along with it. They had to submit um, suggestions for what they were going to draw, and then the art faculty is going to go along and use their expertise to decide which one best meets that criteria, shows the level of artist artistic uh, talent and craftsmanship and imaginative vision for their work. All right. Yep. Well, the, the thing of it is, uh, are there other, are there other, uh, have you been, been involved with any national championships or things like that of that nature? No, because no. Um, we just, I don't know if any of the competitors have been. That might, they might have been. You might want to ask them as you go along yeah. and see what they participated in. Right. Yeah, we're going to do that because Great. this art, that what we're seeing here is really exceptional. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of real good young talent here that's out out of this world right now. Absolutely, and, and, and that's what made us kind of shift the focus from yeah. bringing in okay. uh, performers and bands and things like that right. to yeah. to showcasing who our students are and what they're capable of doing, because they're capable of doing really good things. Right, but well, because art covers so many uh, aspects, right. it's not just drawing pictures, it's creating, you know, creating plays, creating that's right. theater, everything. That's right, it's the theater students who are doing the, uh, the lightsaber competitions right. in the middle, uh, the students in the band playing right now, right. most of them are ACC students. Right. You see some of the sculpture that's going on around here. You know, and all those, those, it's really a lot of students who are helping out man the booths too. So yes. they're really invested in the event, which is great. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, I'll tell you. Excellent, that's the, that's the whole idea really. Come on out together before finals and, uh, and really get to know each other on a different level. Meet your students and spend some time together, you know, not just running back and forth yeah, from right. class and work and family and those yeah. kinds of commitments we all have. Yeah, right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much. My well, pleasure. Well, folks, I go here every, every day and I can tell you that Kuzatonic is a very arty school. It takes pride in its art and just to see it see this courtyard fest and see all the drawings on the sidewalk here and all the drama and everything it's quite an exceptional job I have to thank you on yeah that. my you. pleasure yeah we're proud of our students here we think they do great things and should be known well all right excellent all right thank you very much you too thank, thank you you, you betcha well. enjoy the rest of the event see you guys
Hi folks, I'm Fred Solrith. I'm here again at the Courtyard Fest at HCC Community College. And I'm here with... Jess. <laughs> Jess. Jess. Um, and she's on stilts. Honestly making balloons. It's kind of frightening because she's actually taller than me. <laughs> so, why? first off, why do you want stilts? Um, is it a profession? Is it a hobby? Is it it's my brother's thing. It's actually my brother's thing. My brother's right over here. And he's the one who taught me. And he needed a second person today, so he asked me to come along. And how long have you been doing, how long have you been on, like, practicing on stilts and all that? Um, a few months. Yep. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, God, folks, I'm lucky I don't fall over on those because I had crutches, so it's like, just crutches, only um, a little bit taller than that. <laughs> so, what made you want to get into that? Like, what, what age did you start? Um, I actually just started this year. It's a good job to have while you're in college. So, that's why I like coming out here, seeing all the people like my age doing their own thing. And what do you think of the Courtyard Fest so far? I think it's a lot cooler than what my school had going on, I'm not going to lie. Seems like everybody's having a good time. What is your name, Miss? My name's Jasmine. And what is it that you do here? Um, we're just putting the frisbees on the spin art machine and everyone can just drop the colors in however they want them and then they can come back and get it when it's dry. How many years have you done this? Hi folks, I'm Fred Soberth. I'm here with Sergio. He's got an interesting piece of sidewalk art here. Sergio, why don't you tell the folks at home what your piece is about? Well, basically my piece is just uh, gives me a, a freedom to express the landscape of uh, Housatonic, um, downtown. You know, you see the bridge of I-95 and, um, you know, it's just basically want to give like a, a feeling of Housatonic, um, Housatonic's presence. Um, that you know, who's a tonic is here, and the sidewalk art festival is is basically, you know, gives the art students from who's a tonic a chance to express themselves. It's very nice. I have to say, folks, that it's very eye-catching, as is all the artwork in this uh, at the sidewalk fest here at HEC. So um, so I came in around 11 this morning and it was open to the public and the art students at Who's the Tonic. Um, so it gave us, gives us a chance to express our artistic abilities and a variety of um, styles that Who's the Tonic students um, bring, bring to this uh, campus. Like I said, folks, HCC is a very artsy school. You see it up around in the school in both buildings and obviously with the sidewalk here i go here every day i mean the uh, the, the artwork that they produce here is awe-inspiring <laughs> Emotions that feel real. 